for 15 days. Keep it for the special low TV price of just $1.99. Use your credit card and get this Stanley tape measure absolutely free. Other volumes will follow. Keep only those you want. The new home repair and improvement series from Time Life Books. We've made the best even better. Call 1-800-621-6444 to get decks, porches, and patios for just $1.99. Use your credit card to order and get a free Stanley tape measure. Call now 1-800-621-6444. You can enjoy the world of beauty, excitement, and adventure. All these and more can be yours in the wonderful world of art. And with this art test from Art Instruction School, you can find out if you have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. So to get your free art test without cost or obligation, call this toll-free number now. Call 1-800-862-1000. That's 1-800-862-1000. Hi, I'm John Tess. And I'm Lee Zagibbon. And we'll be your host for the MST3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special on that special, special night. We'll have a very special guest. Ed Asner. Definitely not Mike Nelson playing. Ed Asner. Yeah. And we'll be sharing our picks. But we can't tell you anything until you tune in. But until then, here's a hint. We recommend putting your money on... The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> the MST3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special, tonight at 7.30. And the award for best visual effects goes to... Pamela Anderson! All this week at its new time, you can see Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher in L.A. All set to clash for Gary Shandling, Ice-T, Ed McMahon, and a special one-on-one -on -one with Roseanne. Watch it. All this week, starting at 11, only in Comedy Central. You're watching Comedy Central. Mike Nelson here, along with Crow and Servo aboard the Satellite of Love. I thought we'd start things a little differently, and why don't you join us as each in our own way, we observe a moment of silence. God, this is a great day. Eh? This is so spiritual, I just can't believe it. <laughs> you know what this silence thing is like? Well, I'll tell you. I feel like one of them trapper monks or something. <laughs> no kidding, really. I feel so purified. My soul is as smooth as a baby's behind. <laughs> and I'm not just talking insights here. No, sir. I'm talking vision. I'm talking full-blown illumination. I'm talking about revelation shouted down from the mountaintop. I'm talking huge, deafening thunderclaps of truth. We're beyond mere silence here, friends. We're in the mega silence. You heard about the Big Bang Theory of Silence? This is it, man. Come. Boom. <laughs> Boy, is it quiet? Wow, he is a silence or what? I feel enlightenment. It's Satori. It's like I'm sitting under the Bodhi tree. Wah! And the award for best visual effects goes to Pamela Anderson. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, baby. Squeeze me tight. Well, don't you want your baby to be all right? It's fun in every color, every texture, every shape. It's hip, it's hot, it's classic. Buy a pair, get a pair, one half off. It's the hottest name seen in all the best stores. It's the fashion feat of the season. Buy a pair, get a pair, one half off. It's a huge selection for men, women, and kids. So, step on it. Say, money, please, don't you think? Marshall. It's your sister's recital. An intermission would be music to your ears. Since Twix gives you chewy caramel, milk chocolate, and that great cookie crunch, twice you get one great snack after another. Sinbad is visiting the monks of St. Alphonse with Polaroid U talking camera. Watch this. Hey, my brothers, those hoods are wearing your hair out. <laughs> he can say anything to persuade the most solemn of subjects to smile. The monks have taken a vow of silence. So for Sinbad. Hey, my brother, those hoods are wearing your hair out. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera has taken no such vow. The new Polaroid talking camera. Instant smiles. <laughs> Phew, those smelly shoes. They need odor eaters insoles with activated charcoal. The world's most powerful odor destroyer. Odor eaters. So strong, they actually knock the odor out of your shoes and out of your life. CNN, live on the scene. When Harold Wheeler goes to work, millions of people are watching. He's field engineer and a DeVry graduate. Live events are exciting and technically complex. DeVry prepared me to respond quickly to each new challenge. With a DeVry degree, you're on top of the latest technology. Your education is current and comprehensive. DeVry really covers it all. For a higher degree of success, call DeVry, 1-800-247-7800. Wow! <laughs> that was some round of silence, eh, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. Well, really hey, it doesn't have to end now. Heck, I could be silent like this all day. <laughs> oh, you can't, because Mike Johnson and Todd Langness are calling. Who's that? Uh, I went to grade school with him. Well, how the hell are we supposed well, to know I'm the people you went to grade school? What do you I think mean, we I carry a yearbook know. around? Like... Just a minute, Mike. Our Chinese food! Here, keep the dime. You did a great job. Okay, let's see here. Uh, hope they didn't forget my tangerine chicken. Nope, here it is. And my chicken with broccoli. My chicken with baby corn. My chicken with peanuts. My chicken in a distinctive sauce. My chicken in sweet and sour sauce with lemongrass. Where's right. my mock duck? Where's my mock duck? <laughs> I'm kidding. Here, why don't you send just some of this stuff up to the Satellite of Love, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want this. <laughs> I'm going to eat my fortune cookie first. <laughs> I'm so naughty. <laughs> Oh, oh. You have been summoned to a place beyond this earth, a place beyond your understanding, a place filled with laughter and love, safety and happiness for all eternity. A trusted friend will accompany you to this other plane of existence, and your journey will begin. Watch for the signs, my friend. Godspeed and good luck. What a crappy fortune. Clay, open yours. Oh. Uh, you will die alone and afraid, knowing not a single human being ever loved you. Lucky numbers 3, 18, and 86. It's weird. I keep getting the same one. Uh, what about you, Nelson? Have you gotten your order? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Crow, you got your low main then? Uh, well, actually, it's the death of a salesman special, and that came with the Willie low main. Go. Go. Well, no matter. I'm just going to enjoy my hot and sour uh, seafood and giant clam soup. 
a cracker in there. Ah, what the? <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you kids with your weird Chinese food, just give me a good old American hot dog any day. Oh, 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 no, 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 stop it, no, no. <laughs> okay, Frank, I've got the napkins and the beverages. We can start eating. Well, Mike, your movie this week is a tasty fried dumpling called Samson versus the Vampire Women. And it's served with a tangy hot and sour sauce. Frank, did you leave me any food? Oh, there's plenty of soy sauce. Oh, thank you. I don't want any soy sauce. Give me that, you! Give me that oh, food, you! Oh, oh, you oh, oh, we got move inside! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fun. <laughs> oh, Capital Critters is on. <laughs> Why do they have the blue mask as their symbol? Okay, granted, he's the silver mask man. You didn't need to tell us that. <laughs> Samson, the silver mask man to Tagliana. <laughs> and Delta Burke as Delilah. A.K.A. the silver mask man versus the vampire women. Right. Right. A light-hearted romp about the war between the sexes. <laughs> Samson versus the vampire women, a major Supreme Court case. You know, suddenly I'm in the mood for a Black Castle hamburger. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. And directed by Joe Smith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember, there are vampire women, so uh, get ready with the share jokes. <laughs> Isn't this the castle from the bottom of a fishbowl? What you call hell, Ramos calls photography. We gratefully acknowledge the cooperation of the Churubusco Azteca Film Board. With special assistance by G. Gordon Liddy. <laughs> I dreamed I visited El Manderley last night. Yes, the movie sucks, Fernando. Baby Ian! Ian. Ah! And the rest of this neighborhood is just modest ranchers. Oh, you know, I went to school with an Alfonso Corona Blake. Oh, wait, that was Todd Langness. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a it's a Owl is imitating a spider monkey. Well, I think this house is ready to show. Must be the maid's century off. Oh, they keep the vase nice and polished. Mm. Mm, yep, one of Newt's orphanages here. Key, mm -hmm. key. I'll be back, Alfred. Hey, it's Cobb. <laughs> It's like Miss Havisham's summer place. Ah. Suzanne Plachette. Isn't it strange how her eyes don't follow you no matter where you are in the room? Established 1761. Someone taped over Seinfeld. Surprise! Happy birthday to you! Bang! Are you out there? <laughs> oh, it's Ginger Rogers. Whew. <sighs> lady, <laughs> I guess we caught you at a bad time, lady. <laughs> Let the share jokes begin. Hey, it looks like share! <laughs> <laughs> I don't tan. Did I miss the alarm? Ah, the place hasn't changed. 
Well, I'm the first one up again, so I'll make breakfast. She's so thin, I hate her. Should be a good place to come if you were moving and needed boxes. By whammo. <laughs> Did I put my pantyhose? Ooh. Ugh. Boy, Angie Dickinson has hit a rough spot. She's dressed like Jeremiah Johnson. Oh, what a beautiful morning. This place needs a plant. This is back when glam rock was really big. Can they keep this pace up? All right, Marines, grab your socks and drop your Marina. socks. You overslept. Queen and mistress of the night, lady of darkness and mentor of the vampire women, you have rested 200 years now. This is not a hotel, young lady. You slumbered for centuries just as you are. Your master has not summoned you until now. The hour is here at last. You are to make the prophecies he laid out come true. Mm -hmm. He reigns in the dark dominion. He, your lordly husband, calls the sovereign. Just one more century. All men are addicted to corruption and obligated to seek self-destruction. Hey, well, well that's they true, actually. They have permitted us all to awaken and call up the monsters that reside on this earth. Would you shut up? Some people got to work in the morning. Huh? Lay nails. Uh -huh. You know, I know this isn't right to say, but this is an ugly sorority. Oh. <laughs> Chinese fire drill. I don't mind if their hair is long, as long as it's combed. Neat. With platform eight. <laughs> <laughs> I call the bathroom first. The Exuma Support Group meets in the basement. I don't know, maybe a humidifier would help. Mm. Sorina, honored sovereign of the vampire women, at last the moment has arrived when we must select your successor so that you will be free again to return to the great depths of the earth. Uh -huh. To occupy your throne at his side. First, the minutes from the last Become meeting. To all mortal eyes, a queen of the most radiant beauty. Huh. Because you are destined to scourge and seduce men. Well, wake that lady up. Come on. And you as well, my sister. I call. No tag backs. I come to The one selected to order and guide you as priestess of vampires. I must carry out my mission. So, I will see that you are nourished with human blood. Uh, I have a question. He is here. Listen to our cry, oh inscrutable lord of darkness. I'm doing it. Imponderable king of witchcraft and black magic. Protect us under your great power. Uh, okay. Render us invulnerable to the assault and attack of mortals. Anything else? Shield our bodies and our eyes from the sign of the cross. Yeah. And help us to avoid daylight. Uh, daylight, yeah. Our worst yeah. enemy is the sun. Well, hold on, let me write this all down. Don't make us touch fire that purifies all. Let this be your will, O oh Lord of darkness. Yes, I... Uh, oh, sorry, stepped on the plug there. The devil doesn't like me. A shark. Some of them went on to start whole. Rihanna. You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. At around two-ish, watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. Mm-mm, good. There's so much opportunity in the workplace today, if you have the right skills. To get those skills, you really need to train on the right kind of equipment. That's what the people here at ICF believe, and they're the experts in at-home career training. Take a field by computers. You'd need a PC to learn on, right? This is what you get when you take the ICF PC specialist course. And just look at auto mechanics or accounting 
All this shipped right to your doorstep. Just call this toll-free number for a free brochure that gives you all the facts. Choose from any one of these programs. High school, TV, VCR repair, computer programming, electrician, animal care specialist, auto mechanics, PC repair, bookkeeping, legal assistant, medical office assistant, hotel restaurant management, learning the personal computer, electronics, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. ICS gives you everything you need, so call right now. Call now for the free information Jackie Zeman spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better career. Call 1-800-215-0600. There's absolutely no obligation. That's 1-800-215-0600. We all know how much fun playing the guitar can be, but until now, learning meant months of tedious lessons costing hundreds of dollars and getting limited results. Well, no more. Now you can learn to play any guitar in only 30 days. In fact, you'll actually be playing from the very first day, even if you've never held a guitar before. How's it possible? With the revolutionary Guitar Today video program. Rock, country, folk, pop, or jazz, you'll be playing guitar from the very first day. I am Bill Maher, the host of Politically Incorrect. We're moving to 11 p.m. because of very precise market research and because I never did figure out that daylight savings thing. Watch Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher at its new time, weeknights at 11, starting tonight. I was saving those Marlboro Miles for a while, and I felt like such a monkey boy. Because I'd look in the catalog like, ooh, what am I going to get? It's like I'm going to get cancer and they're going to give me a windbreaker. The coolest thing they had in that catalog, they had a fireproof sleeping bag. So you could lie awake and smoke and not even worry about passing out. I don't mind them poisoning me to make their profits. They just need to admit that cancer was the only thing that ever kicked John Wayne's ass. And if the Duke would have lived long enough to smoke in public today, he'd have to exhale the little Ziploc baggies. Merry were the days of the young ones when brother rose up against brother, housemate against housemate, and punk against the hippie. Live by their example. Every Saturday night at 11. Celine, hear my cry. P-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Let your immortal rays touch us. Give me the appearance that I'll need now. I must have beauty in order to fulfill my mission. I think she looks good now. You are the breath that gives life to my body. Quit kissing up. You are my spirit. And awaken your sleeping slaves as well. Mexico really needs a Martha Stewart. <laughs> my servant. Pretty good first try. <laughs> Another successful Jose A. Bear makeover. I'm pretty, so I have value now. <laughs> she has to hold her arms up till her roll-on dries. They got some pretty busy spiders in these air horror movies. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, the three Russian aviators. <laughs> Celine, hear my cry. <laughs> and awaken your slaves. Celine, I believe I asked you nicely to hear my cry. And you, the dead. Dad, the dead. Ooh, the dead. Ooh, Come on, Magnolia. Awaken from the sleep that has kept you silent for 200 years. Silent except for Ted. Boy, was he sawing logs. <gasps> Tim Allen. So for 200 years, nobody tried to develop this castle into upscale townhomes? Oh, that's not a worn his headgear. And Jackie Mason! What am I doing here? Why am I in a castle? Why am I in a crypt? I'm a vampire. Oh, jeez. I've been awake since 1890. It's <laughs> come undone. You could have left any time. <laughs> I like me. Well, this guy's change is a little more subtle. We're giving him better art support. <laughs> Skipper! It's the pips. Oh, I smell bacon. Follow. Mm. Looks like a Stuart Anderson's cattle company. Uh, just do what she does, I guess. Boy, I'd be nervous sleeping under that chandelier. No. There's no railing here, so look out. Did you ever see a Polish magnet? Here, it's over this way. <laughs> Whoa.
Which one is Brad Pitt? Hmm. Ah, uh, well, I took a wrong turn. Ah, oh, I know. She woke him up so they could move the couch. Don't I look fat in that picture? Look at her. Two hundred years ago. She was selected by the king of the Dark Dominions to succeed our great Sorina. Oh. It was your fault that she fled from the hand of my sister vampires. We're confused. Yes, at that time an extraordinary girl. Dedicated to a life of virtue caused us to fail in our sacred duty. I'm a crappy vampire. Her beauty and kindness were handed down to a descendant of hers. And so tonight you will all see her. When she has reached her 21st year, we must capture her so that she'll be here to take part in our great ritual. Now let's get out there and take it to him in the second half. Remember, if you fail this time... It's hard for women to be managers. I have great power and I will destroy you. You'll be converted into dust, understand? We swear we will not fail you again, Tundra. That's permafrost to you, mister. Serena needs blood, and my sisters and I need it also. She needs young blood. Mm. Eek. That is our job tonight. <laughs> some mouse. Follow me. We'll search for human blood. I say we start by searching for humans. Uh, wait, my string is tangled. Oh, look out. Oh. They were going to have vampires take the form of squirrels, but it wasn't the same. So she was Nora Dunn 200 years ago? <laughs> Time goes on. I dedicate this song to Thorazine. Borg, 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 Borg. He's auditioning for Freddy de Cordova. I recall a second and third movement. <laughs> Remember when we had to listen to her stand up act? I'm a little tight, but I think I could get through it. I'm going to break into some heavy blues now, yeah. No, 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 you naughty boy. Don't look at me. Now Dean Martin's going to come in and jump on the piano. <laughs> hey, the woodland creatures love her music. I don't get the physics of a hovering bat. The Vampire Precision Flight Team in formation. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Wait, wait. There's the note I like, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we'll go wait in the car. Just wanted to fly over with you and make sure you got here safe. Right. Angling is appalling and her phrasing is confused and messy. Mexican Larry Tate. El Stevens! Loan me your sweater. I want to loan her my sweater, and I don't need it back. Oh. Just like Count Basie. One more time! Beethoven from the grave renounces his great work. Hey, great. You know that thing from Peanuts? I'm... Blitzed, and I don't care who knows it. General Hospital. Mm -hmm. She's charging. Look out! I'm sorry you couldn't get a better seat, but we're sold out. Scout? bats got into his hair, they'd drown in the Vaseline. <laughs> well, the bats liked your playing. They were very You're supportive. Pale, Diana, what happened to you? I don't know, George. But it all was so strange. All of a sudden, I heard a voice calling me from a tremendous distance. Saying, drink more gin. There wasn't anything out there. Could have been a bird. I think I saw something fly. It's most likely that you're nervous, Diana. 
You know, I bet it was a butterfly out there attracted to the light. And that's all. Or a tiny condor waiting for you to die. I guess you're right. It was only my nerves. George, dear, you know tomorrow we announce our wedding plans during the party. We and do? And tomorrow's my birthday. Right. And now that you're feeling better, darling, remember we're going out. Uh -huh. uh, George, I'd prefer that Diana stay here in the house tonight. Why, Professor? Mm. Uh, I don't know, really, but she's fatigued and better rest tonight. Yeah. Papa's telling the truth, dear. I'm a little tired and I prefer to go to bed early. And tomorrow I'll feel much better, George. Mm. Is that okay? All right, then, you win. Then. Anyway, pretty soon you'll be using my name. And I'll give the orders around the house. You will be my slave. Don't you agree, Professor? Huh? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, certainly. Of course. <laughs> Good night, George. Tomorrow you'll feel better. Oh, the passion. I'm going up a path. <laughs> get a good rest, darling. Uh, wait. Uh, when did you get that tattoo? Mm -hmm. You get back here. Don't you ignore me. Well, good night. <laughs> Professor. Your daughter's hot. I know something is worrying you. You're trying to hide it. Uh, no, no. It's nothing. <laughs> The trouble is that you're a little nervous also. You're imagining things. Well, I don't know. You seem to be acting pretty strange tonight. Uh, but it, it's so funny that you would think but that just because natural. you say I'm acting strange. I, I don't I'll know. I'm alone in the house. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you. That guy is a You're not going to be losing a daughter. On the contrary, you'll be gaining a son. <laughs> Come on, Mike. How do you play this game? Yeah. Well, it's pretty easy. You just uh, move a piece and you go, Stratego. Oh, I think I can do that. Uh, move a piece there. Stratego. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> hey. hey, hey, look, you guys. Look, look, look. Oh. Sure, Crow, anything to win, eh? Oh, I... Come on, we're right in the middle of a game here. Yeah. Come on. Stratego. But he's right there. He's right there. I think, sure, I think it's a star child. I hate he's... General. What? Oh, really? Oh, when? Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Stratego! All right, Crow, your turn. Something's going to happen, Mike. Something wonderful. I know. I'm about to win. <laughs> Stratego! Hey. If you haven't already checked out Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher at Comedy Central, you're missing out on a lot of laughs. And if you haven't been in our studio audience, you're missing out on even more. For tickets to Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, just call 212-512-8959. Himes understands that the simple act of petting a dog can make people healthier and happier. It's even been suggested that people who own dogs lead longer, fuller lives. Now, knowing what dogs do for you, wouldn't it be nice to do the same for them? You can, by feeding your dog Iams every day. It's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. Iams dog food, good for life. From the Iams Company. AT&T, this is Carla. Carla, this calling circle thing is too much for me. The TV ads, they're calling me at home. My terrier is less tenacious. You want AT&T True Savings. Yeah? It's the best way to save without circles. Good, because I want simple. Sign up, make $10 in calls a month, and we'll subtract 25% off your AT&T bill. 25% off to who? To anybody. Anybody? Anybody in the U.S. Well, All right, you signed me up, because, you know, I just... Are you married? <laughs> AT&T True Savings. Save 25% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. My feet are so sweaty and smelly. My wife calls me Swamp Foot. You need new, more powerful Odor Eaters foot powder with odor-destroying baking soda. It not only can absorb 25 times more wetness than pure talc, now it has over 25 times more odor-destroying power than Shoal Super Deodorant Powder. Wow, no more Swamp Foot. It sure dried up that smelly swamp. Dry up wetness. Destroy foot odor with new Odor Eaters foot powder and new Odor Eaters foot and sneaker spray. As we, the class of 95, rise to the challenge of a new day, 
Our achievements will not be tainted by the smell of corruption. We will find bold new solutions that will not only ensure a clean start, but will also, ever so softly, serve notice that we are not a generation of slackers. We are the future, and we've come for what's ours. Uh-huh. Right, girl. Uh, yep. How are you, George? I'm not sure I understand that game. Hello, Charles. Tell me, Inspector, you working on an investigation or stopping a crime? I just came to say hello to my dear old friend, Professor Roloff, mm -hmm. and to say that since Diana's starting a new life, we can play chess every night now. Chess. But you're coming to the masquerade ball, aren't you? Yes, I guess so. I'll be coming as Sherlock Holmes. Although I haven't received my invitation as yet, unfortunately. But that's why I asked you to come tonight. I wanted to give you the invitation in person, Inspector. Let, let me go write it quick. Well, I'll say good night. See you tomorrow, Inspector. Bye for now, George. See you tomorrow, Professor. Be well, George. Um, some butlers stay inside, sir. Shut up and get outside. Yes, sir. Please come into the private study, Charlie. What was that all about? Please walk through the door into the private study, Charlie. He's got a picture of Reddy Kilowatt up over there. I'm very shy around inspectors. Now why all the mystery? I can see that you're anxious to speak to me. I am not anxious. It is you who are anxious. You see, Diana is in terrible danger, but what's a good way to explain it to you? Puppet theater? But well, that's easy. Start by explaining. <sighs> I can't, Charles. I'm at a loss. Be frank. I want to hear all the details. Mm -hmm. I'm to understand that Diana could be in danger, Professor. I've been summoned here because you hope I'll find an adequate way to protect her. Isn't that true? And nevertheless, you can't or won't tell me what is happening. And that makes it hard to get the scene going. How can you expect any help when I don't know who it is I must protect your daughter from? Charles, I'm usually quite direct, and I don't like secrets. But in this case, I hesitate now because, you see, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> That's about what you'll say. Oh, I... Uh, huh? Someone is trying to kidnap Diana so they can't collect ransom from you. Come on now, speak up. No, no, I swear it's not true, Charles. No, it's something far more terrible than death itself. It's horrifying. I'm at a loss. But forget I said anything. That's all I'm going to tell you now. Should you decide to help me, fine. If not, then leave me alone. Look, you invited me here. Now, take it easy, Professor. I'll help you, and willingly. But how? I can't tell you. Now, leave me alone. Tomorrow night, I'd like you to gather together some men, and good men, and come to the party, Charles. I mean to protect Diana. Now, get out of here. Now, look, if she's in danger, why not suspend the party? That's impossible, Diana's very sentimental. It's only what the girl deserves. But at the same time, she can't know the facts either. My, the situation is desperate now. But, Professor, let me know what's happening here, simply for Diana's good. No, don't insist. I repeat, I can't say any more, Charles. Now, do me a favor. Leave me alone. <laughs> I have work to get done tonight. Be sure to stop by again tomorrow, and then leave immediately. <laughs> no, wait, come back. Why won't he help me? Please shut the film off and discuss now. What would you have done to make this a better party? If only I had a television set. Hmm. Hey, he's a CB owner. I wonder what his handle is. Better review the rules of etiquette again. Uh, consult my sacred role of brawny. Uh, they let Billy draw today's pamphlet. At the end of 200 years... I'll tell him something. Kendra will seek revenge in one of Rebecca's descendants. This unfortunate young girl will inherit the beauty that her ancestor enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And when she becomes 21 years of age, she will be initiated into the black rituals of the vampire women to succeed Serena. Page two. On her left shoulder, she will carry the figure of a vampire, the unmistakable sign of her tragic destiny. Her tragic destiny was announced by her parents of Red Wing, Minnesota. I looked better before I tried to look good. Ow. 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 It's Butterfield Ocho. <laughs> hmm. Now, when was I a flying leatherneck? Bothered by unsightly demon marks? I shouldn't have gotten drunk at Sturgis. I'm responding to your Let's Get Acquainted ad. Uh, I suppose I have to read her The Very Hungry Caterpillar again. 
I gotta have this room soundproof. <laughs> Garth Hudson's outside. Diana, what happened? But I can't stay long, so don't tell me. <laughs> the awful face behind the window. It was simply hideous, Papa. So dead and ugly. Don't talk about your mother that way. And so diabolical, it seemed to be spying on me through the window. Mind if I throw that butterfly theory at you again? <laughs> Calm down, darling. Calm down. <laughs> You didn't see anything. You're only nervous. You're imagining things. No. I can't forget that incident downstairs when I was sitting at the piano. And then this horrible face. It's not my imagination, Dad. This is all real. Uh-huh. No, but I can't find an explanation for it. Honey. But I know that it exists, and I'm afraid, Dad. You're getting pawns on my suit. Come on, sweetheart. Please calm down. I repeat, you didn't see anything. Have faith in your father. You're probably just crazy. And this thing, it has a meaning. I was born with this and you know it. Your arm? Yes, that's Cows, true. I always wanted to know what it meant and always he refused to tell me, Dad. Now, what is it? Isn't it strange it should be shaped like a vampire? It's only a mark like any other, darling. I've seen plenty on other persons, not the same as yours, I know, but they had some strange shape and they didn't mean a thing. Why not have faith in your dad, darling? These other persons were all cast into hell, of course. Tell but... me, Diana, just where did you see this thing? This ugly and horrible face in the night. I saw it in the mirror when I was combing my hair, Dad. In the mirror, you see. Didn't you ever read that light does curious things when it bounces off a mirror? It reproduces figures and shadows. I've been fooled like that many times, dear. Why should I try to kid you? It's not logical. <laughs> Come, dear. Try and get some sleep now. Should you need me, I'll be in the study. And there's no need to worry any longer. Many times, lint gets in your eye and takes on ghoulish shapes. It happens to everyone. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Well, better get some holy water. Going to need a cross, some garlic. Maybe some... so a demon, I can't believe it. That mirror thing was pure genius. I gotta get a better fan. This week, at its new time, you can see Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher in L.A. All set to clash are Gary Shandling, Ice-T, Ed McMahon, and a special one-on-one -on -one with Roseanne. Watch it. All this week, starting at 11, only at Comedy Central. Summer's coming and the time is right. 1-800-94-JENNY. We've got the plan and it'll fit your life. 1-800-94-JENNY. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll begin to lose weight. So pick up the phone and call 1-800-94-JENNY now. You won't just lose your weight. 1-800-94-JENNY. 1-800-94-JENNY. Question. When your best friend is an 800-pound gorilla, who's falling around? Where do you go to set her free? Answer. Anywhere she wants. Hey, get off me. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. Born to be Wild. Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 31st at a theater near you. For Coca-Cola bottling in the Southwest, meeting market demand means managing technology. That's why DeVry graduate Mark Maynez is so important. As technical analyst, Mark is upgrading systems to help his company perform. Today's growth companies need the specialized expertise we give our graduates here at DeVry. With a DeVry degree, these students will be in tremendous demand just like Mark. For a higher degree of success, call DeVry, 1-800-247-7800. know about meeting that special someone. Sorry, can't help you there. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. No way, not in this commercial. I want to know more about Rogaine. Rogaine with minoxidil? Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just call this number now for a free information kit on Rogaine Topical Solution. 
It could help answer your questions because it's filled with all kinds of facts about Rogaine. And because you need a prescription to get Rogaine, we'll send you a list of local doctors and special money-saving offers to help you decide if Rogaine is right for you. But I want to know right now. We'll mail it to you today. So what are you waiting for? Call now for your free information kit. Call 1-800-426-9777. I'll send for your car, Mr. Lugosi. Thank you, sir. We had a really Hispanic time. Thank you. Ah, the entire Mexican middle class, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the devil's minions are cheap thugs. <laughs> Over the lips and through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. Huh? vampires here. They didn't count on Carlton the doorman. <laughs> it's a ah. vampire wilding. <laughs> Tell your friends the vampires are here. <laughs> I need more eyeliner. Yes, they're real. Now that's great puppetry. Trying to catch flies? <laughs> These two blue marks close together on the victim's neck are what have me puzzled, Inspector. Besides that, we didn't find one drop of blood in the corpse. Why, you could swear that a vampire murdered the girl. Hey, now that I think about it, I'll bet those monsters were vampires, Doc. And right after she attacked the girl... She changed into a vampire. Uh -huh. She sucked her blood and then she began to change. <laughs> Take them along, boys, and put them under a week's detention. But listen, Chief, listen, I'm not crazy, I tell you. It's true, I tell you, it's true. Those were vampires that I saw. You said the same thing about a parking violation yesterday. Are there any internal injuries, Doctor? No, I'm fine. No, none, Inspector. And those two blue holes there, don't you really know what they are? No, I don't. I can tell you one thing, and there's no mistake about it, my friend. I'm Coco Chanel. I attribute these two holes to some strange animal whose species is unknown. And there's no way that I can determine it. Well, I think it was the vampire, but let's keep that guy locked up. Hmm, he seemed disappointed. I should have made up an answer. <laughs> ah, the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> They're going to wax his bikini area. <laughs> the torture of Don DeFore. Now, what do you know about the doorman industry? They're worshipping a giant Toblerone. It's a Mandrell Sisters Halloween special. Now, who sat on the mascot? I thought liturgical dance was dead. Do we have an agenda, Susan? Would you just get out of the car? Dive in, girls. The buffet's open. Oh, uh, you got a little. Let me get a little goo there. I'd like to thank the Academy. Serena, queen of the vampire women. Here. The hour for you to acquire your original beauty has arrived. I've learned to appreciate my offbeat looks. She's got combination skin. One part is fetid and one part is rotted. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Putrescence. <laughs> she looks like a magic eye picture. Woke up, get out of bed, drive the comb across my head. I'm so sure Debbie gets to be queen when she's been asleep for five centuries. I mean, like, I work the float and everything. She thinks she's hot snot on a silver platter, but she's just a cold booger on a paper plate. She's just Princess K of the yucky way. Hey, how's the snake hanging? <laughs> Go play with your ball. Who didn't use a coaster? She's a member of the Mug Club. I swear I'll just nurse this one. 
Uh, I was going to ask you something, but I can't remember now. Uh, Guys, the presence of his pants proved there is a god. The making of the International Mail Catalog. You know, it's hotter than hell in here. <laughs> I wonder if this is considered a sweet assignment for those guys. You want a sip? I ordered a Tom Collins. Don't gob in it. Celine, hear my cry. This is the moment. This is the moment to carry out the supreme sacrifice. We must have blood. And he is ready to die. I am? What? Wait. I'm... <laughs> We're out of blood. Is Pepsi okay? Too much middle management in this organization. Mm. Can I get a softer slap? No. Oh, <laughs> sir, I implore you to close your legs. Tab's got sass. I just came in for a cleaning. Oh, bite me. <laughs> oh. Demi Moore, Michael Douglas, disclosure. Once you let yourself go, it feels kind of good. Body by Jake. All right, oh, negative on tap. Hey, somebody tip him up so we get all of it. Put us in, coach. Come on. This is what Southern Baptists think Catholic Mass is like. Who wants blood? I, I do, do, I, I do. do. So once you drain the blood, can they just dump it in the driveway? No. They gotta take it to a garage, I think. I wonder if there are vegetarian vampires. Ah, you can't donate again for a week. Can you imagine the huge apocalyptic grease fire if they threw Rush Limbaugh in there? Oh, he's green. The fire's all smoky. You got me up for that? He's gonna get you so pretty. Hey, it's Big Ethel. <laughs> he's gonna have a great big blood mustache. Do it. Finish it! Finish it! it. Woo! Woo! Uh, it must be a Merlot. I'm just waiting for that click, Maggie. Anna Maria Albergetti! Satan has given me prominent cheekbones. Huh. There's some happy vampires here. She's the Thelma Ritter of the group. Will you look at this rock Todd gave me? Let them drink. Our sisters are impatient. Do you think drinking will help? Oh, that, that's it? I, I was expecting another order. I'm sorry. Here, honey, take an extra big sip. <laughs> hey, Lily snagged in the cup. Well, it doesn't always work. Sade, your love is king. This uh, Joe Cocker here in the foreground? <laughs> come on, come on, I just need a little beauty, man. Just a little bit, please. Just make me a little <laughs> bit pretty, come on. <laughs> Kato's home. Kato live with Nico rent free. OJ say live rent free with me. One night he hit thumb on the AC. Daylight come the LAPD. Come Mr. House for take the witness stand. Make me late for for no movie. Did you see cut on OJ's hand? Tonight time guest host on MTV. 
This house is now Kato's home. I'm Kato O.J.'s dim with Flunky. Hunger come and we eat French fries. Masha say we cook at junkies. Medium drink and two hummy sides. Kato, Kato. O.J.'s house is now Kato's home. Every April in Washington, one new idea is named Invention of the Year. Recently, it was the invention that's made room-filling stereo sound. Finally, this easy to live with. From America's most respected name in stereo, a new concept, lifelike stereo sound, smaller, smarter, and more affordable than ever before. The Wave Radio, from Bose. To learn all about this new kind of radio, call now and find out why the San Francisco Chronicle insists it must be heard to be believed. The Chicago Tribune says Dr. Bose, my check's in the mail. And Popular Science named the Wave Radio best of what's new. If you love music or magic, call now. Once in your lifetime comes the magic of truly great music. For the first time ever, Time Life Music brings you piano by candlelight. Piano by candlelight. Lush, unforgettable music. Your favorite songs from Broadway award-winning Hollywood hits, plus today's most popular melodies. Forty of today's most memorable and relaxing hits. More than two full hours of fabulous music on three cassettes for only $19.99 or two compact discs for just $24.99. To order Piano by Candlelight, use your credit card and call 1-800-701-4343. That's 1-800-701-4343. Or send $19.99 for three cassettes or $24.99 for two compact discs. Plus $4 shipping and handling to Piano by Candlelight, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia. You're watching Comedy Central. Hey! Singing in the back. Hey, check out the faint glow emanating from Deep 13. Wow. What is with all the ethereal stuff today? Frank? Frank, awaken my child. Frank? 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 Jesus? No. Torgo? Yes, that was the name. And thus may you still call me, though now I am Torgo the White. Join me, Frank, of TV in a beautiful place where all the lackeys and toadies and whipping boys are forever safe and free from their oppressors. Sounds great. Can Dr. Forrester come? No, the point is you wouldn't want hey there. they fixed your knees huh there are no bum knees in my world child and how about your voice what about my voice now arise tv's frank and join me for they are all here tonto and kato and robin and don wilson and gabby hayes and joe besser yes all of them in short Yes, we have second bananas. Wow! So Torgo is actually working with two completely reconstructed knees. That is dedication. Oh, amazing! Frank is gone. Well, that's amazing, too! 
I think that if Frank was still here, he would want us to say... Oh, 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 we got movie signs! That's not what I meant at all. He would want us to say... You've seen the girl chosen as my successor? Yes, Majesty. And likewise, I have seen on her skin the mark that identifies her. It's a liver spot. The dark vampire. She is truly lovely, O Queen. Her beauty rivals yours. Yeah, right. She will be a deserving successor. Tomorrow's her birthday. She'll be 21. And we all know the prophecy says that she is to stand in your august presence here. When the ceremony starts, so sweet. We dropped our contact. In very few moons, I am to terminate my reign. It is written that I am to return to the depths of the Dark Dominion. If you fail me again, yeah. my vengeance will know no limit. Hear us, O Queen, who rules the night. Sovereign of the Vampire World. And a good friend. I shall not fail this time, I promise you. If I could just interject here. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't help overhearing. <laughs> The How and Why Book of Vampire Women. Oh, why did I agree to proofread this Michener novel? Oh. Hey, I found a great thermal. I'm riding an updraft. Hi! So, she comes, sucks in your neck, you live for all eternity, she's super hot. What's the problem here? Someone is undressing me with their eyes. Miss Tennessee has wandered away from the home. Ah, I see the spanking service has arrived. Oh. Oh. Transfer the county's funds to derivatives. Anderson Windows and... Well, hello. <laughs> She's got a beefy assistant with a flashlight crouched in the bushes. She just got hard contacts. I know, I look like Vincent Price. In God's name, I order you to disappear. Against him and his power, you are nothing. Oh, use the G word, no fair. Hey, oh, geez, I don't have the acceleration I used to. That's in second. Jeez, I'm as mental as my loony daughter. Fine, at last you got here. <laughs> I came as soon as I got your message, Professor. What's going on? I feel sort of silly right now. Did I overdress? I think you'll recall <laughs> that for years now, I've been translating these crumbling old parchments here. Yeah, they belong sure, to my ancestors. Right. Uh -huh. And in which they announce the tragic destiny that awaits my daughter, Diana. Right, I remember that. No, I haven't forgotten. Tomorrow's the day, Professor. Diana's about to become of age. Have you found anything that will help? <laughs> An important clue that could be used to stop those monsters when they try to take her? I said it at Samson. But the things I found out are not encouraging. And I fear that there's no hope for her. Should I get into my costume? <laughs> uh, I forgot my bicycle. Here course. they affirm that according to the apocalypse, we're living at a time when things are perfect for the resurrection of monsters here on Earth. <clears throat> Since men are bent on wrecking destruction upon the world today... They'll heed their selfish desires and use the tremendous power that nature has given us. Uh, do you need any wrestling yes, gun? nuclear energy. But there's something worse than what I mentioned just now. Are his nipples painted I on? I spoke to you about that strange and extraordinary lad uh -huh. who saved Rebecca's life. The documents say that he also would have a descendant. An outstanding young man of enormous strength, destined to hide his identity under a silver-colored mask, Samson. That extraordinary young man is obviously you. Oh, obviously. But I should tell you something else. According to the prophecies, even you might fail trying to protect Diana. It's a vague prophecy. All the evil they can muster is against you in this thing. And so you might be killed attempting to save my daughter. Nevertheless, I have to continue. I have to go on the way my ancestors did to eliminate evil of all kinds. And human vampires are monsters that can never expose themselves to direct daylight. Surely they use a hideout of some kind as a refuge. And there possibly we could surprise and destroy them. I know. Still, I it said... It could be that these symbols here refer to their hideout. But in spite of all my efforts, Samson, I fail trying to decipher their hidden meaning. 
That's too bad. Well, I got a golf day with Randy the Macho Man. But I'll be ready for anything, so don't worry. Uh, should I follow you over there? Or... You're coming to the party to protect Diana, aren't you? No, Professor. I have other plans. I'll bet. But I'll be responsible for Diana's safety. Hmm. Another man gone. Is there something about my study that drives people away? Hmm. <laughs> Mexico is one goofy country. <laughs> I don't know. I just came home and they were here. <laughs> Any bad puppets? Nope, no bad puppets. Why is he wearing a waste basket? I came dressed as a Mexican. They are chaperoning the hell out of this party. This party is out of control. Tonight we're going to party like it's 1959. Now don't forget my instructions. No one is to enter this house without an invitation. Very well, sir. Jeeves, final years, exiled to Mexico. I'd like to apologize in advance for our wedding night. Hey, she was supposed to come as a bat. It looks like the guy from House Party. Oh, yeah, it's kid or play. Jeez, and they call us the undead. Are you feeling ill? I gorged myself on a cracker. Just for a moment there, I was dizzy. Let's sit down, please. It's a rockin' party, what with the Strauss and the dancing. I never thought I'd long for a mariachi band. My poor girl's happy. Just watch her face. She, of course, doesn't suspect that tonight could be really tragic for her. You have an odd way about you. Don't worry so much about it, Professor. Why do you think we're here? We'll stop any attack that they could begin. Mm -hmm. Provided the attack is lame and poorly thought out, and it's our grandma's. Mickey Spillane locked out of another society party. I have often stalked down this lane before. So then I sailed around Cape Hope, and of course, King Ferdinand, he's a really good friend of mine. You know, I could introduce... <laughs> you killed one of the Dutch masters, you fiends! Oh, geez, this one is really hard. <laughs> ah, good, my order's up. Well, that's our limit. Mm. Mm, Giorgio makes me gag. Nope, never lost a party guest. <clears throat> now hide them. In a little while, we'll be back. She must have drank Chinese blood. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you only rent blood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, meanwhile, back at the world's most joyless party. Please stop playing the waltz. I only wish he wasn't costume. Now do you feel better? Mm-hmm. Well, how about now? you feel better now? What if I do this? Is this better? Better now? Now? Huh? How about now? You, here's my invite. The Mr. and Miss Vampire of Passaic, New Jersey. <laughs> They're actually going to perk up this party. Duchess, you are not the Kissingers. Please excuse the question, but... Would you sleep with me? Oh. Maybelline, fine makeup, sensibly priced. I will get your cream of wheat. Good job, Ted. You were firm but fair. She okay, then? I say she's hot, hot, hot! <laughs> You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. At around 2-ish, watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. Mm-mm, good! Come on, baby, squeeze me tight. Well, don't you want your baby to be all right? The basement thing.
one sugar-free gum has flavor that really goes the distance. Lasts extra long. Hi, I'm Cam Neely. Welcome to my workout. Let's start with a little scrimmage. Oh, come on. One, one and two. Keep those elbows down. Remember to breathe. Now you want to get yourself right in front of the net. You know you're doing it correctly if you feel it right back in here. Oh. Let's head to the gym. Move those legs. Come on. Pump it. Pump it. Stay with me. Breathe. Back to the ice. Now for a really good workout, try playing against a future Hall of Famer like Ray Bork. If you don't have a Ray Bork, just use whatever you have around the house. Sinbad is visiting the monks of St. Alphonse with Polaroid's new talking camera. Watch this. Hey, my brothers, those hoods are wearing your hair out. <laughs> it can say anything to persuade the most solemn of subjects to smile. The monks have taken a vow of silence. So has Sinbad. Hey, my brothers, those hoods are wearing your hair out. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera has taken no such vow. The new Polaroid talking camera. Instant smiles. Shh. It's the day of days and the night of nights and a birthday to the Tom, Tom, with the Tom, 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 a lot of beautiful ladies out here tonight. This poem is called Love Sonnet for the Girl from Baywatch. When I wake up in the morning, you're my first thought. When I go to sleep at night, you're my last thought. So when my friend called and said, Pamela Anderson's the new Playboy, did I read it? I said, read it. I ruined it. All this week, at its new time, you can see Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher in L.A. All set to clash are Gary Shandling, Ice-T, Ed McMahon, and a special one-on-one -on -one with Roseanne. Watch it. All this week, starting at 11, only in Comedy Central. Oh, good. They're finally putting the salmon out. She's totally attracted to my hat. Hi, right, want to look inside my hat? Come on over. Go ahead and look at the sweatband. I did the glitter myself. <laughs> you homewrecker. You know what they say about guys with big hats, huh? <laughs> you know, once you go Cossack, you never go back. <laughs> Aren't some of the costumes here weird? Hey, you, uh, want to wrestle? Ten minutes ago I met you And we murmured a how do you do okay. I should tell you that some time ago a prophecy was spoken up. Oh, what the hell, give me another black Russian. <laughs> I just realized that this is a totally boring party. Let's bring out the peyote. Hurry, Inspector. Hey, make out time. Mm -hmm. This should have happened hours ago. The party's finally coming to life. <laughs> Get that He's carrying away. Well, Mr. Wayne. Uh-oh, more supernatural tomfoolery. Want to buy a watch? No fire. Your bullets could wound her. Da 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 da. Or go ahead and fire. Whatever you think. Hut hut. They've got the polka queen. Oh no. It's fun being the eternal Dan. Woo Come on, Skipper. 
He's got the ball at the 20, the 10. He could go all the way. It's the Santo Mobile. Can't believe I forgot my cup. Hey, Mom said you guys have to let me play. Oh, oh, oh. Did we have a plan for this, people? The undead recruits of the WWF. Where are the cocktail weenies? Hogpile. <laughs> 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 Oh, titty twister, not fair. Duncan, Samson's fighting against them now. Wait till they're separated. Oh, are they separated? That's too bad. I had no idea what they needed. Oh, now they got to call Joan Embry. Get the tennis rackets. The Malibu getaway car. Just leave me out here. I'm fine. I'll sleep. That's cool out here. Please. You think you can still shotish? All right, you folks need to turn down the Strauss a little bit. There's been some complaints. We heard shots from this direction. Is anything wrong, Inspector? Nothing, nothing. You can go now. Thank you, thank you. I'll go now. <laughs> Chief, I saw two corpses in the garden. Oh, Five. just a moment. Hmm? Not a word about the things you saw here in the garden tonight. Or they'll put us in the booby hatch, I'm sure of that. Blah, blah. That's exactly what we were thinking. Tell the jailers to free that little officer that informed us about the flying vampire. And call for an ambulance, too. Right, Chief. Come on, boys. Even after dispatching orders, I feel empty. Well. And that was when I was captain of the pep squad. Um... I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Now you know why I hesitated to explain it to you. Mm -hmm. Don't you have the slightest idea where to find the hideout that these creatures are living in? Ah, that must be one of my many wrestling acquaintances. Oops, pardon my fault. Hello. This is the residence of Professor Roloff. Yes. For you, Charles. Uh, make it quick. We got a movie going on. Okay. Thank you. Hmm? Yes? I'm the inspector. Go ahead. Uh, no, I don't know the count or the amount. All right. I'll be there later. I have to go home and empty the dishwasher. Another pair was attacked at the same spot as last night. They'd been in the nightclub also. The poor girl was killed and they found the same small holes in her neck. Mm. Oh. Her escort was kidnapped. Well, they kidnapped her car? What was the point of that? I mean, her... Now that's an idea. Put the cheese inside the cracker. The crimes that were committed there these last two nights could furnish us with a clue. Copernicus? It's evident that they used that area to attract their victims in some way. Hello, anybody here? I think we'll have to play all our cards this time. It will be morning for you. Edna, Edna, look! But tomorrow night we'll go to that nightclub and we'll take Diana with us. Are you out of your mind, Charles? You're a mean one, Mr. Under the circumstances, Diana's in just as much danger here as she would be in any other area. Mm -hmm. Now don't worry. I'll send guards to surround the block and they won't cause suspicion. My best trained men are going to be in that nightclub, too. Now look what happened out there in the garden tonight. <laughs> and your men's bullets couldn't detain those infernal creatures, Charles. Yes, but all in all, I don't think anything's going to happen to Diana. <laughs> and on the other hand, it's quite possible that we'll find out who those monsters are and that diabolic female that leads them. Hmm. It's a chance, but they could reveal their hideout. So now please have confidence in me, Professor. If you don't, you'll be running a great risk and you might not save Diana. And the risk the is... The uh... right, Papa. Sooner or later, those monsters are going to find me. Why not try it as a last resort? Anything is preferable to continuing this nightmare. The plan just might work, too, Professor. You win. I'll go along with you. No, Professor. You should stay here. And wait to hear from Samson. Mm -hmm. Now, try to get a little rest, Anna. The house is under constant guard. Now, let's get back to the party and Strauss out. Let's get you back to the Lawrence Welk show. <laughs> I thought we drained him pretty good. How about you? Yeah, we're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> well, let's see. One, two. Watch your kidneys. Uh, up we go. Up. Yes. Hey, a heavy sucker, huh? Yeah. So are you guys going over to Steve's after the shift? 
Yeah. Okay, Shelly, truth, dare, double dare, promise or repeat. You have failed me once again, Tundra. You kiped my eyeliner. There is a terrible enemy in our way, Serena. His name is Samson, and he is to blame. The girl that was chosen as your successor. Uh-huh. Was in our power when he got there tonight. But tomorrow he'll be dead, Serena. Hmm. This I swear in the name of your husband, the king of the dark. I am watching the game. You know I must terminate my reign soon. So tomorrow you are to have my successor here. My vengeance is cruel and terrible. Mm. Phyllis Take Newman has gone you nuts. As well as your sisters will be changed to dust. That's what happens if you don't moisturize. Green there goes half the bowling team. Key ripes. Fiends are visiting from Europe. Give me another opportunity. I shall not fail again. Tundra, I wish to see my successor tonight. Take me to her. You order and I obey, Sovereign. You're damn straight. You're at Comedy Central. And the award for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor goes to... Colin Ferguson! Sometimes I forget that I'm 45. I don't feel that because I'm 45, I can't be funky. I love looking great. It makes me feel proud to be the age that I am. Oil of Olay, so sheer, so light. It penetrates quickly to boost skin's moisture renewal process, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. I see lots of things in the future. Bigger things, better things. You know, when I'm 90, I'm going to be the best-looking grandmother on the block. A lifetime of beautiful skin. Oil of Olay. The new Tide EnviroPack uses 80% less packaging than regular boxes, so it takes up less space in your trash and in the environment. Two very important points. The new Tide EnviroPack, recognized by SWANA, an authority in waste reduction. The International Association of Wildland Fire just approved the nasal decongestant for firefighters on duty. It's Sudafed, approved because of the way Sudafed clears up sinus and allergy congestion. Approved because it relieves painful sinus pressure. And most importantly, approved because Sudafed gives you all this relief with no drowsy side effects. Strong medicine, no drowsiness. Sudafed clears you up without slowing you down. Fisher Price knows every kid needs someone to hang out with, someone who speaks their language. Want to go to the zoo? Okay, bad idea. A second banana who always laughs at their jokes, no matter how silly. New Chattering Chimps from Fisher Price. What do the really, really beautiful people drink when they get thirsty? The same thing as the rest of us. Image is nothing. Thirst is everything. Obey your thirst. Sprite. You can enjoy the world of beauty, excitement, and adventure. All these and more can be yours in the wonderful world of art. And with this art test from Art Instruction Schools, you can find out if you have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. So to get your free art test without cost or obligation, call this toll-free number now. Call 1-800-862-1000. That's 1-800-862-1000. You want it on the telephone, sir. It's Lucy Ricardo. She wants to be in the show. This isn't Strauss. Thank you, thank you. That was... Two for the Vikings. I got two, two for the Vi Vikings. That Danny DeVito has arrived. Why do you suppose they want the inspector? Oh, I... Ah, indeed. Well, well put. We will cross the Imperialist running down. <sighs> There's always a line in the ladies' room. I was speaking to Professor Roloff. Samson hasn't phoned and he's worried. I understand that tonight he fights at the arena. 
So maybe you'll get in touch with us a little later on. This must be the arena where Samson is fighting tonight. Perhaps we'll get in touch with them later on. <laughs> oh, they're making the beast with two butts. You know, it actually looks fun. <laughs> Says you. They were the inspiration for the uh, Philobolus Dance Company. The ruling party set the debate format. <laughs> oh, no! no. 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 Sure, they made fun of him in high school, but now look at him now. before I have my match with Samson. It's going to be a real tough fight. I want to oh, take a little nap. Oh, crack! Look out! Oh! <clears throat> Make sure you lock the door, Willie. I don't want nobody to disturb me. <laughs> he looks like an executioner on break. Mount Man. Wow. Hey, you're out of toilet paper in here. I was sent by Fantasy Graham. When a man loves a wrestler. <laughs> Oops, the sonar let me down there. <laughs> Mr. Wrestler, are you trying to seduce me? This scene was cut out of Spartacus. Oh, it's a Robert Maplethorpe photo session. <laughs> you have a kind face. On to the dark side or I'll take your lunch money. I'll see you in hell. Well, actually, I will. I'm down here a lot, so... <laughs> Ah, oh, crap, it's the wrong guy. Yep, now I better dress him and tie him to the fender and get him home. Then there's all the paperwork down in hell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, gee, sure to seen that one coming. <laughs> this is one of the weirder parts of the Menendez trial. I can see why Cindy Lauper loves this sport, so. It's Andy L. Kaufman. Why can't they just talk about whatever's bothering them instead of the senseless wrestling? Ow! That hurt me! Ow. You're on now. Say, is your body remarkably different from when I was just in here? It's a little chilly in the ring tonight. Take this light there, back, okay, honey? Let's go to our night at the theater. Ding, ding. We need a volunteer. Sit down. Everybody sit down. We're not going to start the match until everybody sits down. <laughs> the wrestling program in hell is second only to Iowa. Well, the second smelling Satan fight went on for 15 rounds. Thank you. Thank you very much, but I'm just the referee. Thank you. Three falls are allowed, and there is no time limit tonight. We're seeing the main event of the evening. In this corner here, the Black Mass Sex Challenger. Nobody likes me. And here in this corner, the man in the silver mask is... Samson, the mm. This is what would happen if Don King took over opera. Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't ask to see that. <laughs> okay. I'll take your coat and put it in the guest room. Ah, yes, the sport John Irving wrote about so eloquently. Well, you know, before he became a fallen angel, Satan was a jock. <laughs> this is very much like the quiet man, except they're Mexicans in tights and one of them is a devil. Oh, gee, Ted, you're getting really serious about this. I mean, come on, what's this going on? Ow! Uh-oh. Uh, that's got to be Forrester. <laughs> oh, Mike. I can't find Frank anywhere. 
He never stays out this late. What with his fear of halogen, I've checked everywhere. The DQ, the sewage treatment plant, all his usual hangouts, nothing. I'm just terribly afraid that he's gone and he's never coming back. And if I cared one iota, it would be devastating. If I cared. Boy, the boss is always the last to know, huh? <laughs> well, you see, sir, our time here on Earth is, is but a passing thing. He was assumed by the angel Torgo in a glorious coronation. Well, it was kind of a cosmic Torgo. You see, his mission as a second banana was, uh, and yeah. you were kind of mean, so they, Well, um, there was a fortune cookie which yeah. foretold something about something, yeah. and then, well, Gabby Hayes is heavily involved. Anyway, he's not coming back. Sorry. Wait. I can't imagine. I shan't, because it isn't true. But it is. Oh, this sucks. Who will be my guinea pig for my gene splicing? My fingernail transplants? My fajita? Who will I blame my mistakes on? Who will I... Who will I kill? I've destroyed, and I've maimed, and I've kicked him. Now I'm a bully with... No victim, no adrenaline, thrill, no screams that are shrill. Who, who will I kill? I've crushed his head a few times, memories like nursery rhymes. No one died like my teeth is frank. No sweet blood to distill, no cute tummy to drill. Who, who will I kill? When I look upon the first evening star, I remember when I hooked his liver to the engine of my car. I could tickle my Aunt Lil. Give my dog a cyanide pill. But what prank shaped boy could they possibly fill? Here's my money. You can bank it. I'm no good without my Frank. It seems he could die without batting an eye. Now it seems I must take my own bitter pill. Tell me who, who will I kill? <laughs> Goodbye, Frank. And remember, wherever you are, I will kill you. <laughs> well, in a sick way, I, I feel touched. We'll be right back. You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. At around two-ish, watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. Mm-mm, good. Hey! There was no mistake about it. I was definitely in cruiser heaven. Even my wife looked somehow mm, different. And there I was prowling the streets on the new Kawasaki Vulcan 800. V-twin rumbling, chrome gleaming the sun. Is this for real, or am I just dreaming? The Vulcan 800 from Kawasaki. It's as real as it gets. Don't just wish for healthy, shiny hair. Go out and get it. Blow drying gave me split ends, so I did something about it. With the special pro vitamins in Pantene Pro V Shampoo and Treatment Conditioner, they penetrate deep down, improving hair all the way to the tips. Pantene Pro V. For hair so healthy, it shines. It'll happen. Promise. Different, Different issues. Different strengths. Different needs. There's a revolutionary form of antiperspirant that recognizes the difference between men and women. It's Secret Ultra Dry, a superior form that will keep you drier than any other. Secret, strong enough for a man, but made with ultra dryness for you. Have you ever renewed your driver's license? At a cash machine? Nice picture. You will. 
and the company that'll bring it to you, AT&T. Your true voice. Hi, I'm Bill Maher, the host of Politically Incorrect. We're moving to 11 p.m. because of very precise market research and because I never did figure out that daylight savings thing. Watch Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher at its new time, weeknights at 11, starting tonight. Some people spend their whole lives training to be astronauts. And when they finally get up into space, what do they do? They fix satellites. Man, they're not astronauts, they're TV repairmen. They should have name tags. I'm Carl, your astronaut. Butt crack hanging out of the back. We should get rid of NASA anyway. I mean, we're never going to do anything as cool as Star Trek, right? And Star Trek was always like the American family. The most important guy sits in the coolest chair in front of a big screen TV telling everybody else what to do. Even the trouble they got into wasn't as vicious as it is today. It was innocent, minor, just nonsense type of things. Today it's a little more hardcore, I would say. And, uh, unfortunately. What's the matter with him? I swear he's, he's got a real him. nice way with a song. That fellow's mm -hmm. not the black master. He's been using karate on me. And he could kill me with one blow. Listen, I'll ask that they suspend the match, Samson. No, mm -hmm. I'm going to see this thing through to the end. But you're crazy. He's trying to murder you. I'd already been warned about this. But we'll see. Or can I lose the mask? It's hot. <laughs> Ah. Oh, good. Give me more wrestling. But the whole place smells like brie by now. So much for my fresh new start. <laughs> oh, and the devil is out of the ring. The Ooh. Prince of Darkness has fallen on a woman in the front row. It wasn't such a good idea to send a killer vampire into the crowd. And... Oh, there you are. This mask makes it so hard to know who you should wrestle. <laughs> This isn't strictly wrestling, is it? Mm. No. Um, ouch. <laughs> Let's see, is this melon fresh? <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Mm. I think the audience could have been seeing high lie or cockfighting. Mm. Ah, please. You'd almost think that was all planned out. Mm -hmm. Samson trained by watching Roadrunner cartoons. Here, that wasn't working. Let me try that. There we go. Ah, they resort to second grade <laughs> tactics. <laughs> the International Fight Like a Girl Championships. <laughs> I've engaged in a bit of pugilism myself. Your facial peel is ready to come off now. Okay. Hey, come on, man. Don't ruin my gimmick. Don't touch mask. <laughs> wow, chicken hands. Uh, there's a zipper in back. That's going to be Peter Lopez. It's part of the face. It doesn't come off. It's an Oak Ridge boy. <laughs> what? What? It's my butt crack, isn't it? <laughs> Pan, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Call the pound. Stay, you stay, ow, you stay, you little dude, you stay. <laughs> Mothra is attacking the city. <gasps> Run, it's Butch Patrick. <laughs> oh, now you're just provoking him. This is how it goes now. How can this be considered a legitimate spot? Okay, no more shapeshifters in the ring. Terrific floor show, eh? Look, it's very late, Inspector, and I'm starting to get tired, so what's the use of waiting? Just a while longer. Until daylight. Safer, believe me. We'll get our menus eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, the Judds. <laughs>
Sisters, sisters, never were the such devoted sisters. Which twin has the Tony? Hmm. Our wives don't understand us. Hello, ladies. Uh, your special today is a cheesy taco loco. I'll be back to take your order later. She's looking at me. Uh, she's looking at me. Okay, then let's get a Bloody Mary, two straws, uh, blood sausage, and some blood pudding. There is the girl chosen as your successor. Look at her. Mm. She looks exactly like her ancestor. She'll be worthy of my throne. But I hate her outfit. Oh, God, those bitchy vampires, Debbie and Jennifer, are here. <laughs> She's been stuccoed. My skin cleared up. Billy and Hellman on a bad day. Uh, Inspector, watch the reflection. Those two in the rear there. They're checking me out. He knows we're ugly. <laughs> I got a dine and dash on table four. No running by the pool. Arrest those two women. Any two women. <laughs> this couple needs a cab. <laughs> the food here is terrible. And the portion's so small. Did you see two women come out? Uh, no. They must be around here. But I don't... Surround the whole area. I, I don't want to... I want to search thoroughly, understand? But we just came for dinner. You I two don't... stay here with us. But we don't... We have to give this young lady protection. And keep your eyes open. Where devils go, trouble follows. <laughs> Time I went back to wait at the Crypt Tundra. If you fail again, you know what there is in store for you. You have to give me a pedicure. Yeah, we're pretty safe here, eh? Yep, no danger here. That's vampire. <laughs> It's a cool fang funny car. Mm -hmm. Rusty. I think it would be better if you went back to the house with Diana. I'll be waiting here. My men will go along with you. It's <laughs> a vampire version of Goodfellas. <laughs> oh, real mature vampires, you big bullies. Um, I I don't need a ride. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You just tell him Tony the big bad vampire wants his money. Hey, I had this cab. Hey, looks, I, I don't go to Hades, and if I do, it's only during the day. These vampires specialize in rough housing and the black arts. <laughs> the Keystone Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you mortal son of a bitch. Turns out it's not Samson, it's just a very flamboyant CPA. <laughs> Circus of the Network Vampires. Oh, jeez, I thought I was done for the evening. Oh, oh, getting too old for these raids. <laughs> oh, give me back my inhaler. <laughs> The Flying Nosferatu Brothers. Samson, party of one, your table is ready. The ultimate battle between good and evil is really goofy. Yep. Whoa! Ow! Yeah, I didn't fork over the money for the bat chasing option on this car, and now I need it. <laughs> Well, apparently considerable taxiing is necessary for vampires to lift off. Okay, up, up, and up. Jeez. Death race Liberace. <laughs> Our lady of Fatima is back, and she's pissed. Oh, why couldn't I have been a vampire in Israel? It's a sign that says wall drug 10,000 miles. Edges light quickly. Huh? Oh, please. 
Well, I'll just mark it in my book as a kill. Can I get you a glass of water or... You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. At around two-ish, watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. Mm-mm, good. I'll never forget what made me change to always. I had to leave this party with my jacket tied around my waist, thinking this should never have happened. My pad just didn't work well enough. So I started using always. The wings help stop the leakage on the sides. Plus, it has dry weave. No other pad has it. Once the flow goes through the top sheet, it's trapped, and my panties stay better protected, unlike with my regular maxi. Always works by giving me cleaner, drier protection. Always with wings. It's cleaner, it's drier, it's always. Discover the balance between you and the sun. Discover proven tanning results with exceptional care for your skin. Discover California Tans Heliotherapy. The positive effects of the sun. For a salon near you, call 1-800-222-SALON. The International Association of Wildland Fire just approved a nasal decongestant for firefighters on duty. It's Sudafed, approved because of the way Sudafed clears up sinus and allergy congestion. Approved because it relieves painful sinus pressure. And most importantly, approved because Sudafed gives you all this relief with no drowsy side effects. Strong medicine, no drowsiness. Sudafed clears you up without slowing you down. Does your MCI friends and family calling circle work for you? We had to work very hard to get the savings because right. you had to get everyone else into this thing and to call and do the same thing. And then they wanted you to update all the time. And then you're yeah. updating and you're like, oh, this is hard work. After all this work, are you saving what you expected? You only get it? what they tell you if you can get other people to join. And it's almost like a pyramid thing. There's no circles, no work with AT&T True Savings. Spend just $10 a month and you'll save 25% off your AT&T bill. Guaranteed. Call 1-800-GET-TRUE today. I'm looking for something simple that's, it's going to save me money. And simple is always better. True Savings is simple. Call anyone, anytime, anywhere in the U.S. and save 25%. Guaranteed. Just give me a good, you know, rate right off the bat. Four out of five customers will save more with True Savings versus friends and family. Switch today, and we'll switch you free. I switched from AT&T to MCI and back to AT&T. I am Bill Maher, the host of Politically Incorrect. We're moving to 11 p.m. because of very precise market research and because I never did figure out that daylight savings thing. Watch Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher at its new time, weeknights at 11, starting tonight. There's no time to lose, Professor. Huh? I'm trying to save Diana, and it depends on this code. Well, just as soon as I finish those jumble. There. I really read him the riot act. I like you. Do you like me? Hmm. A. B. C. D. And here, I think, therefore I am. At last I've got it. Thank God. I've discovered the letter D. Here, let me start the gelato machine. Ah, oh, good. Uh, sir, we should probably get to rescuing your daughter. Uh, John Forsythe in Bachelor Father. <laughs> Professor Roloff here. I'm calling you, Samson. This is Professor Roloff. Come in. Can you hear? It's very important, Samson. Emergency. Please answer. I'm listening, Professor Roloff. This is Samson answering. Come in, Professor. Over. Listen, Samson. The crypt where you'll find the vampires hiding is located in the forest of White Pine. Uh -huh. So please hurry. Good. I think we may save Diana. Yeah. In a second, we'll be on our way there. Okay. And I wish you good luck. Yeah, good whatever. Look, I got a fare right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Little Shoot, Wisconsin... Sometimes when the moon is full, Samson likes to turn off the headlights and just drive. Maybe if Cortez had never conquered Montezuma, we would not have had to watch this movie. Hmm? Yeah. Go, El Santo. Go, El Santo. 
El Santo. They moved the action to the Ardennes. See the Mexico in your Chevrolet. <laughs> ah, thank goodness a wrestle stop. If a wrestler falls in the forest and there's no one to hear it, does it count as a fall? <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly he forgot how to drive. Yeah. What? How come I haven't noticed that before? No! Ah, come on, everybody's doing it. Jeez, we haven't even put the needle in yet. Peter Garrett stars in a very special ER. <laughs> Do we honestly need another remake of Little Women? <laughs> Punch, in a few short minutes we will see the dawn. You must hurry now. Ah, another hot home for sale. Man, this place is like my first apartment before I got my big wrestling contract. Oh, I like what they've done with the cobwebs in Fat Guano. Christ, what good is being the ruler of the underworld if you gotta live in a dump like this? Rebecca? What the hell is Rebecca? It's a costume, okay? Your very own glow-in-the-dark Samson. Come on, do something. Wrestle, even. Well, I mean... Tell me I didn't hear that. Hey, buddy, take it from a wise old me. Don't go in there. The only problem with a mask is that it's really cutting off the circulation by now. Oh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, it's a cage match. Please do not feed the Samson. <laughs> Dear God, I never wanted to see this. Oh. 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 Hey, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> got a full acre of area. The vampires have a pretty basic agenda with everyone they <laughs> capture. Tell your sister Tundra that it's late. She must hurry. Tundra, Mom says you're late. Touchdowns. I forgot to put up the storm windows. At last we're going to know who our stubborn enemy is. Take off his mask. Oh, I hope it isn't Alan Ludden. He's frightening. <laughs> oh, wow, he must be ugly. He does. Had they just bought curtains, it could have saved the whole vampire race. Some people burn easily in the sun. <laughs> hey, you, you want to untie me quick before you die? Could you... So how's your slab, huh? Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, rescue you and... Uh, oh, oh, no. no. Okay, but this is the last time, you guys. No one can resist a good mix it up. Can I get a bendy straw? Uh, what was I doing before? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, bye then. Well, see, it's because they didn't reapply their sunscreen after sweating. Movie Town News presents The March of Time. Ah, damn Martha Graham dancers. <laughs> oh, 
damn, all the biffies are full. Anti raid! <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Hey, I'm gonna burn you to death. Yeah, I hope this is the right thing to do. <laughs> well, I'll just let God sort them out. <laughs> That's always nice, Samson. Just torch everyone. Bested at every turn, and now you've got a chance to light some helpless women on fire. Well, I think that's about everyone. Well, I'm out of here. Authorities suspect arson. Hi, honey. Gee, it's great to be back at the castle. Hope your sister's dress-up Halloween slumber party went with... Oh, my God! It's a clown car. Um, you can put me down. Uh, I can walk. You don't have to. Uh, I can put... Could you put... There's a lot of bodies, Samson. We got some questions to ask you. I decided not to burn this one. Honey, I hate to tell you this, but an android from the future is going to come and kill you so you won't give birth. A thundering tire, a flashing turn signal, and a hearty hi-ho, Silver! Goodbye, sweet wrestling friend. God bless Samson. Who is he, Papa? God? Well, he's a Judeo Christian deity. I don't think you'll ever know. But I'll say this, my dear. He's a fruitcake. In this age where there are certain evil men who propose to destroy us, Samson is an example to men of goodwill who serve justice. Well, I do what I can. I gotta go rinse out a few things. Well, guys, Frank is gone, and uh, maybe now would be a good time to read our letters to him, okay? Tom Servo? Okay, let's see. Um, dear Frank, well, I guess I'd better be going. Yours truly, Servo. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, Crow, how about you? Do you have a nice letter? Dear Frank, you are a pig. Love, Crow. <laughs> now, come on, you guys. Now, you're making fun of a guy who's been very nice to us. Yeah. I mean, sure, Frank's dumb, but... You know, we could have had it a lot worse. I bet Gypsy's letter's more appropriate. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Dear Frank, I'm glad that you are in a better place. Forrester is evil, and you have been a welcome touch of kindness. Others may put you down, but I will always say, Give me my TVs, Frank, and when he shall die, cut him into tiny stars, and he shall make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will fall in love with the night and pay no heed to the garish sun. Amen. That was beautiful. <laughs> Not as poetic as dear Frank, you are a pig, but still. What? Maybe Frank about Frank. Because Frank is... Frank? It really is you. Speak to me, Frank. Speak to me. Clay, close your robe. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just thought I'd check in from the ethereal outer world and see how you're doing. Frank, I... I can't believe I won't be able to kill you anymore. Don't worry, Clay, because somewhere deep inside your soul, <laughs> you'll always be killing me. <laughs> and remember this, my sentimental friend. Even though I will forever be in your heart, till the end of your days, you'll be a profoundly lonely man. Thank you, Frank. That's very kind of you. And just let me say this to anyone out there who's working for an abusive boss. Do not despair. Never let him crush your spirit, even if he's already crushed your skull. Always be yourself and wave your freak flag high. Jeez, it must be horrible to work for a boss like that. Frank, could I ask you one thing before you go? Sure. Could you... Push the button, Frank. <laughs> Watch me rock.
saw two corpses in the garden. This has been a presentation from Comedy Central. I had this huge convention coming up. I've gone every year heavy, and I've been heavy all my life, and I wanted to take off the weight and go and dazzle them this year. Then I got smart one day and called Jenny. And now I'm skinny and happy. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll begin to lose weight. So pick up the phone and call 1-800-92-JENNY now. That's 1-800-92-JENNY. I had people that I've known for years that didn't even recognize me, that I had to stop and say, hey, where are you going? It's me. For evenings you wish would last till dawn, Maxwell House introduces a delightful excuse to linger. Ground coffee sweetened with smooth Irish cream, rich Swiss chocolate, and luscious French vanilla flavors. Coffees that taste as good as they smell. As long as the day turns into night, Maxwell House will always be good to the last drop. This is not a vacation. The least you can do is pretend to work. Break pads. I can't stop. Are there business? Save. Are there missions? We don't take no for an answer. No. Okie dokie. And disaster <laughs> is their bottom line. Chris Farley. That guy look good. Did you live under power lines as a kid or something? David Spade. Tommy Boy. It looks real. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, March 31st at theaters everywhere. AT&T, this is Carla. Carla, this calling circle thing is too much for me. The TV ads, they're calling me at home. My terrier is less tenacious. You want AT&T True Savings. Yeah? It's the best way to save without circles. Good, because I want simple. Sign up, make $10 in calls a month, and we'll subtract 25% off your AT&T bill. 25% off to who? To anybody. Anybody? Anybody in the U.S. All well, right, you signed me up, because, you know, I just... Are you married? <laughs> AT&T True Savings. Save 25% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. Hi, I'm John T And I'm Lee Zagibbon. And we'll be your hosts for the MST3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special on that special, special night. We'll have a very special guest. Ed Asner. Definitely not Mike Nelson playing. Ed Asner. Yeah. And we'll be sharing our picks. But we can't tell you anything until you tune in. But until then, here's a hint. We recommend putting your money on... The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> the MST3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special, tonight at 7.30. And the award for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor goes to Colin Ferguson. All of this week, at its new time, you can see Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher in L.A. All set to clash are Gary Shandling, Ice-T, Ed McMahon, and a special one-on-one -on -one with Roseanne. Watch it. All this week, starting at 11, only in Comedy Central. You're watching Comedy Central. This is Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. Stay tuned for the best stand up comedy. Laura Keitlinger, and this is Stand Up Stand Up at Comedy Central. Today's topic is so controversial, so provocative, I'm breaking out in a sweat. It's about comics who wear glasses. I thought we were doing a show on conjunctivitis. No, Laura, come on. Look, I came here ready to talk about pink eye, and you're throwing in a glasses thing. Glasses. Am I supposed to just wing it? Yes, do glasses. Now, come on. All right. We'll be starting today with thick glasses and working our way down to contacts. So here's Jonathan Groff, David LaBarca, and Nancy Redman. I don't know. I go to a lot of weddings. You know what I've done in the last few years? Like three or four years, I've probably been to five weddings of old girlfriends. Has anybody done this where you actually stay friends with the person long and you get invited? I should say this. I don't, I don't get invited or anything. I just show up. It's, you know, <laughs> it's the least I can do, I think. Yeah. Drive by the church, look menacing. Yeah, go ahead. 
I went to one coming up on a year ago. I went to the big one. I went to the wedding of my major league longtime old girlfriend. We'd gone out for a long time. We'd split up, and she, we'd stayed friends, kind of. She wanted me there at the wedding. You know, it was real important to her, one of those things. Please, I'd love you to come. I didn't want to go. I was freaking out. I went, and I got there, and it was, it was a nightmare. I'm sitting in the church waiting for the whole thing to start. And the organist is playing this beautiful music. The church is beautifully, beautifully decorated. There are guests coming in. It's, it's great. I couldn't deal with it. I, I just I was, it was blowing my mind. So I got up, and I, I tried to sneak out the back before it started, and I waited too long, because there, at the back of the church, I ran smack into the entire bridal party as they were about to come down the aisle, yeah, and there was Jeannie standing there in her wedding dress, looking beautiful, radiant, beaming, happiest day of her life. I didn't know what to say. I was stunned. I just walked up to her, and I said, look, you've made your point, okay? I don't know what the hell you're trying to prove with this, okay, but look, I'm willing to do some work on this relationship, okay? If you want to throw it all away with this little charade, that's fine. But... Oh, man, I'll tell you. She had, like, uh... she had like four other old boyfriends there. That was the thing. She was big on this. It was ridiculous. It was like old-timers day at Yankee Stadium. It was absurd. <laughs> we signed a few autographs, tried to circle the bases one more time. You know! But, you know, she married big-time doctor. Like, major score. Before that, these are the other old boyfriends. Two actors, two musicians, and me, a comedian. I think her parents wanted us all there, just so we could be seated at a table marked worst case scenarios. <laughs> but I was dating I, I was dating a pregnancy hypochondriac. She wore a diaphragm. She was on the pill. She still made me wear a condom. Then she said no. <laughs> I have always been attracted to women who are bad for me. Fortunately, I also want the women who I can't have, so it kind of <laughs> sort of works out well. You know, like my high school history class, other kids in the class like Maggie Cassidy. I was in love with Marie Antoinette. You may remember her, but uh, <laughs> she turned me down. Right now, I need sex so badly, I could almost get a prescription for it. <laughs> but it's hard to fill those, so... Uh... I dated a very immature woman. Actually, I made love... To... No, we had sex. All right, let's... A very immature woman. She wouldn't reach an orgasm unless I said, Simon says. <laughs> woman told me... She said to me that I was an emotional cripple. An emotional... Which I... So I started leaving my car in handicapped parking spaces. <laughs> I tried to get out of a ticket once by telling the cop that I was unable to sustain a healthy relationship. I'm in group therapy now, but you know what scares me about group therapy? I'm afraid that I'll talk and then the second craziest person in the world will say, you know, I know exactly what you mean. I'm an expert on relationships, but I'm not in one right now. <laughs> but he knows. I'm reading a self-help book. And the self-help book literally says, if you're unhappy with your lover, blame yourself. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> this shouldn't be blaming in relationships, am I right? Only compassion, honesty. Honesty is the main thing in relationships. Am I right? Yeah. Only honesty, compassion, sensitivity, humor, intelligence, but truth above all. I have a fantasy about writing a self-help book. It's, it's, it's just a fantasy, but I'd like to try something right now. I have the self-help lover's prayer. I want to try this. I want you now to try this. Turn to your lover right now. <laughs> if your lover's not here, just fantasize. Take a look at the person next to you. Grab somebody. Come on, grab somebody. Sir, you can work with him. It's okay. From your guts, I want everybody to go, sweetheart. You may not be perfect, everyone. But nevertheless... You are a brainless fool. You ruined my life. You are the reason I suffer, everyone. And your mother's no better. Come on. And I'll turn to the person next to you, give him a rap in the mouth, everybody. Blame the next person. You'll be more emotionally stable. I blame everybody, and I feel so much better. Am I right? Yeah. Do we 
Guido, stand up, stand up. We'll be back after these messages. Come on, baby. Squeeze me tight. Well, don't you want your baby to be all right? Basement say. Hi, I'm Cam Neely. Welcome to my workout. Let's start with a little scrimmage. Oh, come on. One, one, and two. Keep those elbows down. Remember to breathe. Now you want to get yourself right in front of the net. You know you're doing it correctly if you feel it right back in here. Oh. Let's head to the gym. Move those legs. Come on. Pump it. Pump it. Back to the ice. Now for a really good workout, try playing against a future Hall of Famer like Ray Bork. If you don't have a Ray Bork, just use whatever you have around the house. Himes understands that the simple act of petting a dog can make people healthier and happier. It's even been suggested that people who own dogs lead longer, fuller lives. Now knowing what dogs do for you, wouldn't it be nice to do the same for them? You can by feeding your dog Iams every day. It's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. Iams dog food, good for life. From the Iams Company. Discover the balance between you and the sun. Discover proven tanning results with exceptional care for your skin. Discover California Tans Heliotherapy. The positive effects of the sun. For a salon near you, call 1-800-222-SALON. Hi, welcome back to the most exciting episode of Stand Up Stand Up ever. Today we're featuring comics who wear corrective lenses. This is a landmark show. We're paving the way for our special on comics with night blindness. Actually, this is my favorite segment of the show. It's where we feature comics who wish they were Buddy Holly or Elvis Costello or both. Here's Tom Kenny, Kevin Dowdy Jr., and Greg Poops. So what else is going on, man? Shopping around for life insurance. I don't know anything about it. I'd much rather go to baseball games and shop for life insurance. I like baseball. My favorite. My, uh, the only, probably the only job. Being a professional baseball player, the only job where it's perfectly okay to scratch your groin in front of large groups of people. <laughs> uh, you can't do that at your job. Hi, Bill Johnson, Prudential. I'd like to talk to you about our double indemnity policy. Uh, you know, some accidents do occur in the workplace, and you want your wife and children to be provided for. Everybody says, no, it won't happen to me. But, folks, it does happen, and quite often, too. That's where we here at Prudential come in. No need to sign anything. Nope, just a handshake will do it. That's the way I've always worked. 25 years in the business, for God's sake. Honest Tom Kenny. So, <laughs> thank you. That's kind of a fun bit to do. I feel like I'm on studs. Okay. Here you yeah. Or anything on the Fox Network. Okay. I am. Very strange. I'm going to go for the metropolitan life, I think. Get met. It pays. Yeah, have you seen those ads? Charlie Brown and Snoopy pimping life insurance. Is that hilarious? They got the peanuts in their life insurance ads. Huh, like that's going to change anyone's mind. Like my dad is going to be sitting there watching that commercial going, you know, Pigpen says it's very good coverage. <laughs> da, 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 da. He wouldn't lie. Pigpen would not lie about something as important as life insurance. I'm going to go down and talk to them tomorrow. Could you tell me about your metropolitan life insurance? I went to group therapy for sad, pathetic people that never got attention as children. It's called karaoke. I watched the Playboy channel, but just for the articles. I gave a prostitute $50, and she tied me up and took another 80 When I went to high school, I didn't want people to think I was a geek. So I joined a gang. There were about 50 of us. We all had matching jackets. We were called marching band. <laughs> 